A boy. A tiger. 227 days at sea. More than just a fast-paced adventure story, the 2009 movie based on Yarmouthel's book, The Life of Pi, is touching, inspiring, and heartfelt. We're about to watch the trailer to the upcoming 2009 movie, but first, we have an exclusive interview with Jan Martel, the author of Life of Pi. Greetings, Jan. Thank you, Dr. So. Your book has won many awards, but what pieces of literature have inspired you? Well, Dr. So, there are many literatures that has inspired me to write my book. The biggest one I would say was the Odyssey. It inspired me truly. And one of my dear friends also wrote a book about a jaguar and a person who has been stranded from a boat. Those two pieces of literature has really affected me about writing the book Life of Pi. What role did you intend Richard Parker to play in this book? I intended Richard Parker to play a major role in helping out Pi. One of the biggest roles that he played was when he Try when he made Pi find his true identity from becoming a child to a man in his experience at the ocean. He and the tiger is like almost a complete opposite of what Pi is. The tiger is mean, Pi is nice, like, looks one of those type of stuff. What did you intend Richard Parker to be? An antagonist, a protagonist, or a foil? Well, Dr. So. I believe that I did not intend for Richard Parker to be any one of those three, but I wanted Richard Parker to be a side of Pi that Pi does not really say, that Pi doesn't really talk about, but it's inside him to the whole story. So Richard Parker is a piece of the pie, we sort of say. Ah, very <laughs> funny, Dr. So. Well, thank you very much for joining us in this exclusive interview tonight. Well, it's been a pleasure being on the show with you. Goodbye, Mr. Martel. Goodbye, Dr. So. And that concludes it. Now, we bring you the trailer, The Life of Pi. I am going to tell you a story that will make you believe in God. I was born in Pondicherry, a French colony in India. My parents were affluent zookeepers. We owned many animals. My brother Ravi and I used to play together on the Indian countryside. Religion was a major part of my life. I was Christian, Hindu, and a Muslim. One day, my father told me that we were leaving for Canada. Boys, we're moving to Canada. I don't want to go to Canada. Why, why would we move to Canada? I've lived in Pondicherry all my life. We like it here. Join me on my quest as I deal with an adult Bengal tiger, find my identity, and become a man. We're not 